this is courtesy of a, a account called stay grounded right and it says the following it says good to hear from you bitch and tremendous Kanye West has filed two trademarks for in response to his ongoing feud with Train Emery so that kind of back and forth he's having with Tremaine, which I obviously covered here on the podcast. Kanye is now going to step further and decided to trademark both of those sayings in that text message because I guess those are things that people resonate with and were laughing at and were kind of having a little bit of a kiki, ha ha moment with, which I clearly did have in that regard. But seeing that this is happening and then seeing how it's kind of evolved, going to in Ian Connor's Instagram where he shared some pictures of stuff he's developing, it looks like with Kanye behind the scenes. It looks like they're putting out an entire line of tremendous line of tremendous stuff that's obviously a flip on supreme because obviously the guy works at supreme and i have to be honest um i feel like the joke is a bit tired now i feel like it's a bit done it's a bit you know boring but i also feel like this is just lame and if anything is pretty dang not so dangerous but it's probably not the right great thing you'd want to do to your friend because essentially he's empowering his army of sycophants all over the world to basically you know keep on attacking and going after Tremaine at any point because they've eventually labeled him as an op as a, somebody that he needs to kind of take down somebody he needs to fight against and it's just ir ironic that he's going around talking about how Jewish people this Jewish people that and he's out here fighting his own brothers like legitimately people he used to work with and count as friends and collaborators he's now turning into enemies to the point where he's making teachers about them and trying to diminish their power which might lead to them maybe selling less stuff and not being able to support themselves and their extended family it's really kind of hypocritical of him to do such a thing in my opinion but i don't really like any of this to be honest I, like i said i think it's lame i think it's tired it's boring i'm over it um you know these jokes are probably things you need to get out in the open and ready to sell quickly turn around type thing i wonder if there has been something said behind the scenes to kind of stop these from coming out legitimately because we haven't actually seen these in person or people paying, paying, buying them sorry um Maybe they were made the same time they made the White Lives Matter shirt. So maybe, you know, Dove didn't want to give him anything to do with this in general because he didn't want to give him the White Lives Matter shirts either. But they did get hold of them because they gave them to the homeless people. But I'm not really sure what the deal was with these, to be fair, because they've kind of just disappeared. And we've not actually seen anything kind of concretely come out of it. But clearly, they're doing it. There's a picture here, Kelsey of Insta uh, Ian Connor's Instagram, where it shows some mock-ups of the shirts. You've got a Nate Lauman uh, mock-up of the shirt with the bullet holes and box logo. You've got the classic box logo, and then you've got the purple box logo, which is really rare. And then you've got the box logo in the sky blue with the red box logo I've taken from uh, Tyler Creator's video for... Is it for She? with Frank Ocean, I think it's she, right? With Frank Ocean's like sitting in the garden, so I think it's she, I don't know which one it is, but regardless, you know, the flip and what it's about. And like I said, I feel like it's a little bit lame. It's a little bit dangerous. And clearly it's something that I feel like is done to be a bit malicious to the guy and to not kind of, you know, it doesn't necessarily paint him in a good light. The reason why I say this is because if you go on his Instagram account, especially for Denim Tears, it feels like the crowd has turned. And I don't feel like this is something that, ha you can't say this isn't because of how Kanye has been going at him. Now, forget all this stuff because all this stuff is the hits. But if you go to the stuff that isn't containing the reefs, like this collection that uh, Tremaine, I guess, recently popped up or uploaded on his site, which is a collaboration with Sky High Farm Work, where which is inspired by the foods from Harlem, Georgia, Jamaica, Queens. The collection is christened with a tapestry of okra, collard greens, black eyed peas, and watermelon seed packets. Small community, massive dis diaspora, infinite details, releasing on the 21st or the 10th. You can't actually, you can't say he's doing this the easy way, Tremaine, isn't it? He's making really, really black centric, African American centric, whatever you want to call it, clothing. And you would imagine stuff like this would maybe ostracize people who don't uncomfortable wearing this type of stuff people who are non-black so he is only really appealing to a really small niche of a niche community or audience or customer base so this is clearly something that he's willing to take the risk for and i'm i, I got rated i got to be honest i don't like all the stuff but the fact that he's really hyper focusing into this niche i think i forgot what he said the term of fucking dinner tears have they got it here in the bio no, they don't have it, but there's a term, there's like a kind of line that he has that he kind of puts out there. I think it's clothing for the diaspora. I don't know, whatever it is. But if you go in the comments of this post, which features the Sky High Farm Workwear collaboration, you can see that the public has kind of 
turned on him outside of all the friends sucking him off and stuff you can see that there's a, some friends is it this one or that wall i think that's the wrong one actually but i saw some posts of people basically being very critical and a little bit rude in what they were saying here okay incredible 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 we love this let's go more down there maybe it was another post then okay maybe, okay do not buy from this company the, okay cool not that one so maybe it was this i think it might have been this post actually that shows the pictures just the items just laid out flat yeah there we go this is the one so as you got here you've got this guy here saying y'all could do so much better you've got another person says seems like it won't get any better than the cotton reef and everyone says thanksgiving fear people are putting their trash emojis and i've got a feeling this is all like as a consequence of kanye declaring war on the former collaborator and close friend um, to the point where now, like, the community, especially the these sheep and these hype, these kids who can't think for themselves anyway, right, until they see flipping Rocky wearing a pair of off-white denim tears jeans, then they suddenly wanted the pair, but before that, no one cared. So clearly, these kids are very susceptible and easily influenced, and if someone like a Kanye is coming out here and basically telling you to tell telling you to call this guy tremendous and saying that his brand sucks and it's no surprise that all these kids are going in these comments and trying to you know put smart on the kid's name and obviously the emojis there says yeah i'm transitioning from a career in social work can i pay seven dollars for the green wall wear a sweatshirt nah brah really question mark what the fuck how you both to remain this ain't it and i think a lot of it has come off the back of what kanye said because I don't think this is any different than what he's always been doing in terms of his output. And it just feels like it's a better quality stuff. The collaborations are a little bit, you know, maybe more frequent or whatever it may be. But I don't think this is any different than what them just was putting that before. And, it, you know, it gets even worse if you click on this picture of these new jeans that are meant to be coming out. Sunroof off on a Trojan horse. Virgil came back through the boy. People are saying here, said we've had enough getting old really fast. Another one says here, really old designs. Can you ship my shit out? Making money a Virgil, that's tremendous. Put an A inside a circle, game changer. <laughs> yeah, people are clearly saying some really harsh and negative things. Like I said, I feel like this is definitely as a consequence of Kanye's, you know, irresponsible rhetoric that he's putting out there where he's essentially trying to dunk on his friends and make them look horrible in front of the public and clearly it's working for some people in it um but again like i said it's an unfortunate situation altogether hope they do reconcile in some cases and get over it because they're all stronger together in my opinion stronger together